Hello, was your big sister then? Mum, you wanted. Just give him this one pound thirty. Is that your mother? Never. She can't be old enough. One thirty, she said. Yeah, but with it being the time of year that it is, and that I just thought, you know. Oh, are you after a tip? Is one. Well, don't walk on the ladders. Oh yeah, season's greetings to you as well, but that's not what I was going to say. Go on. Ta -da! Oh, lovely. Is that your eldest? Why are you showing us pictures of turkeys? It's not just a turkey. Notice last night's echo there as well. Ah, oh, the turkey can read. That's to show you when the picture was taken. You can't read the date on this paper. No, but, I mean, you can read the headline showing you it to be last night. That's very interesting, love. Do you mind if we go on with our lives now? This turkey, fresh as a daisy, can be yours for as little as ten pounds. Cool. That's very cheap. Well, I'm a fool to myself when it comes to my favourite customers. What's the catch? There isn't one. That'll be knock-off. Well, you always look on the bright side of people, don't you? It isn't knock-off. Look, I can have it here tomorrow. It's been fed on natural foods, no hormones or polyphosphates whatsoever. It even had its own yard to play in. And I don't want all the money today, just that. Next, you'll be telling us it's looking forward to being cooked. But it's so well-bred, it wouldn't surprise me. Sinbad, if this is a trick... I'll clean your windows free forever. Give us another look at that booty. Why, what's up? I just want to count its legs and its wings. Two of each, guaranteed. Haven't you saved one for me? Oh, I thought I might as well do them all once I was warmed up. Leave me freezing. Typically selfish, that, Ralph. Uh, excuse me, love. Oh, hello. How much is it? One thirty. And uh, I'm in a position to do you a favour. Keep walking, Lucy. How's your mind, Mr Cross? I'm trying to do this lady a bit of good. Would I recommend it to a decent window cleaner, <laughs> are you? No, extremely cheap poultry, as a matter of fact. Don't walk, Lucy. Run. Well, your mate's just bought one. Tell me he's lying, Ralph. It was a bargain, Harry. Will someone tell me what it is? Show the picture. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I haven't a clue about the price of turkeys. I have, and it's a bargain. How old is it? It's two. It's been specially bred for this Christmas. It's cheap, fresh, free range, and it's delivered tomorrow. A five an hour and a five on delivery. Oh, it'd be a nice surprise for Mum. What's the catch? There is one. Where were they rustled from? On my life, they're not pinched. Hey, someone for me, Mum. Mum! I heard. Who is it? Go and have a look. What's that? A turkey. It's alive. Well, I said it was fresh. I can't take it like that. Oh, you're not going to go back on the agreement, are you? I'm not going back on anything. You are. Me? I promised to deliver a fresh turkey in its prime. I mean, all you've got to do is kill it and give me the other five. <laughs> Can you kill it? Kill it? I couldn't even eat that now, I don't think. Oh, no, neither could I. Oh, don't let me down. I've paid for it. I'm not letting you down. I want my money back. Well, I want the five-year-old me. Sort him out, Bob. Oh, what for? I mean, I've done my bit. God, I even showed you a photo of him. It's him, is it? Yeah, Trevor. It doesn't matter whether it's a him or a her. It does give you another turkey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Trev. <laughs> Are you going to give me my money back? Are you going to give me the five and outstanding? That's more to the point. Don't think you've got away with this. Yes. Oh, take it away. Come on, Trev. Faxo, <laughs> Faxo. I've done my bit. A fresh turkey, free range, as promised. All you've got to do is pay me the balance. A fiver, and it's yours to kill. Do you think you can get an old soldier with that one? Ralph, get the carving knife out. <laughs> but what about the fiver? Here. Come on, son. Come on. Come on. On that. We haven't got any, I've looked. Told you the knife was sharp. Trevor. Hey, you. Come here. 
Now, give me a tenner. What for? Your mate. All right, Mr. Cross, we had a legitimate deal, you know, fair and square. Fiver. Done. Come on, Trev. Come on, mate. I know I've been at, and I won't forget it either. <sighs> Come on, mate. If you don't give us that fibre back, you'll never wash these windows again. Oh, that's typical, that is, isn't it? Hey, you try to improve your relations with your customers and they turn nasty on you. What the hell are you talking about? I've stuck to my side of the deal and you're refusing to pay me the balance. I'm a fool to myself, I really am. You've conned us. I've delivered a fresh turkey, as promised. Any more of that and I'll get me brief onto you. What about the fiver? If you're refusing to pay me, I'll put it down to experience. Come on, Trevor, we're not staying here to be insulted, mate. Could cheerfully wring your neck, Sinbad. Hey, I'll remember all this, you know. You may just get a letter off my brief. <laughs> when I get the fiver back for Lucy, she wanted it, say. Don't start again. It's me you're talking to. Me that knows a lot about you. Well, I didn't know you'd be here, did I? That's the only thing you've said, I believe. <sighs> but you get away with a fire from an innocent kid. I look innocent, Sammy. I'll kill him, pluck him, and stuff him <sighs> in if you don't give me a fire back. All right, all right. Oh, <coughs> <coughs> blimey. More just my spirit in the Kremlin than there is in you. I'm letting yeah. you both live, aren't I? How many people have you conned? I haven't conned anybody. I mean, I do have another 24 customers to see, if that's what you mean. Good luck, Trevor. Well, they'd be all right. This is his third year, that's it. Hey. Merry Christmas, Carol. Come on, Trevor. Merry Christmas, Simbad. <laughs>